Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of CS for Cars. Today, we're changing some O2 sensors. Before we get rolling on this thing, we need to take the family to get some breakfast on this lovely Saturday morning, and then we're gonna run to Napa Auto Parts to pick up a couple O2 sensors for this 1999 F250. Okay, we just got back from running around, had myself a lovely Donair Eggs Benedict from the White Bull, and that place is the best breakfast in Alberta, hands down. I'm not kidding. We also ran to Napa. We got a brand new big store here in Drayton Valley, huge warehouse. They got everything you need. And if they don't, they'll have it the next morning after they order it. So we got an O2 sensor for upstream and downstream of the catalytic converter. We also picked up some assorted fuse packs because we'll be chasing some wiring problems here in a little bit and it could just be a blown fuse. Also, I was just out of them. And here's a bonus. They had some brake clean on sale for four bucks a can and that's an unreal price. That stuff's expensive now. So I'll tear into these things and jack up the truck. It barely fits in here. Like, I mean, barely, but it's in here. It's touching the door, but that's totally fine. We're gonna jack it up, put some stands underneath it, and then uh, creep on under there and pull out the old O2 sensors, which aren't gonna be seized too bad because we just did that exhaust a couple weeks ago and there hasn't been a lot of hours on it since then. Let's get going. Hey, got her all jacked up. Always use jack stands as well if you're going to need something, even if it's the cheap ones, could save your life. Keep the jack under it too and put a little bit of pretension back into it. Keeps you as safe as possible, especially when you're gonna be reefing on some wrenches to get some sensors out. What we got going on over here, O2 sensor, pretty standard, right? Just plugs in, screws into the exhaust pipe. 22 mil wrench, it fits on there. That's pretty much every O2 sensor you'll find will be about that big. I'm gonna bring down some needle nose pliers and this flathead screwdriver, just in case the old clip doesn't wanna come out very nice. But uh, yeah, cue the copyright safe music. That took all of two minutes. Luckily everything played nice. So here we got the downside of the cat right here. I was just plugging the hole with an old Chevy O2 sensor. Ugh, don't tell anyone about that. But yeah, here's the uh, upstream of the cat side. Connectors are the same, which is nice. This old one, Makes a rattling sound in there. Probably why that one wasn't working. Gotta be real delicate with these things. Don't drop them, because you'll probably break them. They're all ceramic, so they're kind of brittle. Uh, luckily, they all come with anti-seize already on the threads. That's mighty nice of them. These are from NTK, which is the same company as NGK. You know, they make good stuff. So let's throw these back in, and then we'll clear the code and fire this puppy up. In case you're wondering what's going on down here. So we got one sensor here. You know, there's the engine, header, O2 sensor. And then typically there'd be a catalytic converter here, which someone stole out of this truck. That's why it's fancy flex pipe now. And then you'd have another O2 sensor here. So that's just the truck making sure it's not too lean. It's running good, got the right mixture. And this is checking up on that mixture after this. I know there's some programs you can plug into OBD2s and delete this one from the software. So it's just running off one O2 sensor, which is all the truck needs. This is just for emissions purposes, but we're, uh, we don't have that software. It's like 2000 bucks to get one of those machines and then another hundred dollars per vehicle you want to mess with. So we'll just eat the 50 extra dollars and plug in a second sensor. Got them screwed in there now. So these guys have little crush gaskets on them, little metal crush gaskets. Gonna wanna go finger tight, throw a wrench on, and do a half turn. Really make sure that seats. And then I'll make sure it doesn't go in there. Doesn't fall out, pardon me, anytime soon. So now this, let's see if we can do this one-handed, eh, for you guys, just uh, Yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay. Let's give it a little, just a little. Oh, there we go, you hear that? clips in. Easy peasy. I'll zip tie that somewhere appropriate. And this one, oh, I might get greedy trying to do this one handed. Put her in there. Oh, no, we might get lucky. Might be our lucky Saturday. 
there we go. Two clicks. All right, they're in there. We'll uh, zip tie them appropriately after we go clear some codes. Okay, coming in here now, we got our little scan tool. I picked this one up from a garage sale and it's like brand spanking new. So keep that in mind. You guys can buy used tools that work very well. Throw the key in. It says it's ready, get it reading. We just give it a second. And it's gonna beep at us. It's gonna say, hey. All right, yep, P1151, so we got an O2 code. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit erase on that. Are you sure? Yes, I am. The erase is done. We got her off the jack stands and opened the back door because safety first. Fire up. No more engine light. No more lights on the dash, except for that airbag light. But that's because of that bulb's burnt out. So that's one less thing on the list for this truck. Coming up next, got these trailer brakes. And as you see, that light isn't on. So we're going to address that. I don't know if it's uh, just a bad ground. It's probably just a fuse somewhere here under the hood. But that's next on the list. So there you have it. Quick one today. Nice, easy fix. Something everyone can do, right? You don't need a hoist. You just need a couple jack stands, a wrench, and a winning attitude. I'm gonna park this thing in the front now, put the wife's car back in the garage, and then we got Jesse, his wife, coming over. We're gonna have some nice burgers on the patio in this lovely springtime Alberta weather, even though there's still a foot of snow. It's 10 above today, so we're gonna drink beer. The sun's coming out. Have a great afternoon, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next Tuesday.